next we're going to work on sit. How many of you have worked on sit with your puppies already? How many of you have it mastered and don't need to practice it anymore? <laughs> okay, okay. So, for most puppies, sit is usually pretty easy to get started. For most puppies, it's a very natural behavior. Unless you're a greyhound, then it's not so natural. <laughs> then we have to work a little harder. Okay. But for most puppies, it's a pretty natural behavior. We're just trying to get it on cue. I want you to be able to sit when I ask for it, not just whenever you decide to sit. Okay. So, we can capture the behavior. We can capture it anytime they offer it. If it's a natural behavior that they do, we can capture it anytime it happens. If I have my clicker and some treats handy, I can click and reward when I see that butt hit the ground. Okay. I can guide them into it, so I can use a food lure to guide them into position. There you go. There we go. Good. So typically a treat over the nose will help guide them into position if I need to give them a little help. But what I want you to be thinking about now, if you've already got a good start with sit, is how to start building on that. So to me, if your dog will sit for a split second to get a cookie, that's nice, but it doesn't really help us in the real world, okay? <laughs> so what I want to do is start to challenge him a little bit more. So that might mean If you've already been working on sit and it takes a little while to sit, I might go, well, that was a good sit, but that one doesn't earn a click and a treat. So I might say, now that I'm going to start to up the ante a little bit and expect a little bit more, I might need you to <laughs> sit a little bit faster. I might need you to do it without any commentary. <laughs> so if you're talking while you're doing it, it doesn't count. But notice if he holds his sit, I want to actually reinforce him for maintaining his sit, not popping up right away after I give him a treat. So just because, just because I've clicked and treated does not mean I'm done. I might still want you to keep doing whatever it is. So I want to make sure I'm teaching as I use the clicker, I want to make sure I'm teaching him that click and treat doesn't always end the behavior. For me it doesn't. I might actually want you to continue doing what you're doing. Okay? So I might start to build some duration to the sit. I'm working toward a sit stay, but I haven't worked on stay yet. I want to build some duration to a sit before I start introducing that.